Hey YouTube, I recently got this GoPro HD Hero 2 and right now I'm going to do a low light test while riding my motorcycle. So here we go. So I guess while we're doing this, I'll tell you a story of how I went through seven motorcycles in five years. This is my first time actually recording, well, talking while recording anything, so pardon me if I stutter or anything. So, um, so I think it was, um, yeah, the summer of high school, I took the Motorcycle Safety Foundation course in San Francisco, and uh, I got my license through that, but I didn't actually get a bike until probably two years after, and that was um, a 2000 uh, Kawasaki Green Ninja 250. Um, The person I bought it from, it was actually like half a mile away from me, but because I haven't hadn't ridden in a really long time, I got my friend to bring it back to my house for me. And when I was uh, trying to ride it, um, I forgot pretty much everything I ever learned about riding, so I was stalling a lot and I had to relearn everything. But that was a good beginner bike because it was very forgiving, but uh, after a while, I wanted uh, more power, so I found this um, kind of cheap, broken R6, 2003 R6 in Hayward, and I got it from, like, I think the guy was a drug dealer. He was, uh, he kind of had, like, 16 motorcycles, or maybe it was, uh, it was 20, but, um, he was just telling me stories and he told me that he got a bike from his got the bike from his friend who uh, worked at a motorcycle shop and the bike actually belonged to someone that dropped it off and uh, I guess the person died and they never came back for it so after a few years um, the shop took possession of it and I guess that guy got it and gave it to his friend, so I bought it from him, so kind of creepy, but it was a good bike. Um, when I got it, a lot of the fairings were broken, so I had to replace those things, and uh, I got it looking pretty good. I, I got some white fairings and changed a lot of the, the parts, the LEDs and such, and uh, after that, I kind of wanted a newer bike, so I, I bought a 2005 Honda 600RR just because everyone said that the CVR was uh, the bike to have. But when I bought it, I actually didn't really like it because it had a lot of. Uh, I don't, maybe it was because of the gearing. Like they, they switched up the gearing ratios, but it felt like it didn't have a lot of uh, high end torque. and. On the freeway, it was pretty scary because it had more like drag than my uh, R6. So after a while, uh, I kind of needed to. I had to sell it because I needed money uh, for my school loans or tuition. So I, was, I thought I was going to be done with the motorcycles for a bit, but uh, a few months later, I found a pretty beat up. I think it was a 2005 250 Ninja and uh, the girl that I bought it from, she actually got into an accident, like a truck hit her, so the bike fell down, she broke her leg and needed stitches so she went to get out of riding, but um, that bike cost me $800 and when I first uh, saw it, not in rideable condition. Uh, one of the handlebars were broken off, so I had to buy a handlebar and return to her place and ride it home. But the thing was, 
the handlebar was stuck, so um, I couldn't get that off. So even though I had a replacement handlebar, I I rode back home with it uh, with just one handle. So that was pretty scary. But I got home and eventually uh, painted it black and put all sorts of uh, stuff on it, like HIDs and uh, LEDs. Yeah. So. After that, um, I found a, I think it was a 2005 Trickster 1000 on Craigslist, and I bought that, not with the intention of keeping it, but um, with the intention of uh, maybe fixing it up and selling it for some profit. I actually made a thousand dollars from it. I, I sanded down some of the, the scrapes and painted it a bit and to uh, make it look nice and yeah I flipped it over for quite a good profit and I also sold the sold the Ninja too so I didn't have bikes for a while I bought a car instead because I needed to bring my uh, stuff home from college back home to San Francisco for the summer so uh, after a while yeah, I keep buying bikes from Craigslist, but my next bike was a 2005 Suzuki Dixer 750. I got it for around $2,000, and it was in really bad condition when I got it. Um, I was hoping to just buy it and to get the title and maybe pick it up another day, but the guy I bought it from, he, his mother-in-law didn't want him to have the bike house at all, or at their house at all, so, so um, yeah, yeah, their family, they, one guy, uh, they took his car, and another guy took my car, and while I rode the bike home, and that was probably the most dangerous um, ride I ever had, because, because the whole front end was missing. So I couldn't tell how fast I was going. There's no uh, headlights, so I couldn't ride in the dark. And there was just the two side fairings just sticking out, man. When I was riding back to San Francisco, on the San Mateo Bridge, one of the fairings actually uh, snapped off and fell on the ground. So people were pointing at me saying, hey, look, there's like uh, something down there. And I was just looking at them saying, yeah, like, I know, I know. But it wasn't until later when uh, the guy that drove my car actually told me that that bearing was right underneath, like an inch away from my tire. So I think if I slipped, I could have died. But um, oh yeah, also the front um, front brake line was snapped. So. I only had the rear brake to use too, so I had to keep downshifting if I wanted to slow down. And that was pretty uh, scary too. But uh, yeah, I ended up painting it black and got it looking pretty nice and in running condition. And uh, yeah, I sold that after a while too. And uh, I ended up buying two 50 Ninja, the one I'm running right now. Because insurance is a lot cheaper, getting better gas mileage. And, uh, even though it's not as fast as the other bikes, it's still fast enough. And uh, yeah, good gas mileage. And I, I can actually take corners faster than my SF50. So yes, that's the story of how I uh, went through the motorcycle. Thing. Four or five years. Yeah. So I'm just gonna keep riding now because I have nothing else to talk about.